Hey everyone, it's Spencer Hawes here with nichepursuits.com and today I want to talk to you about something that is more important than many people think. If you are struggling to know how long to make your articles, you are not alone. When you sit down and stare at a blank screen, it can often be daunting to think, okay, I need to write 2,000 words before I get this article done. In recent years, there have been a lot of case studies that have shown longer articles tend to rank better in Google. Brian Dean, Neil Patel, and many others have shown that long form content tends to lead to higher number of links and higher rankings in Google. However, does that mean that you need to make every single article that you do a 5,000 word beast? Absolutely not. In fact, sometimes I only write 1,200 word articles and rank number one in Google. Other times I do write 5,000 word articles or more because that's what it takes. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to determine the exact length that Google is telling you to write in order to rank at the top of your for your specific keyword. In fact, I'm going to share three specific examples from websites that I own and show you how I was able to rank at the top of Google and what content length was needed. Oh, and before I forget, go ahead and hit subscribe to let me know that you enjoy the content like this and to get notified the next time I publish a video. So let's dive into some examples. Let's say that you were trying to rank for the keyword, can I shoot a possum in my backyard? This is a keyword that I shared previously that ownTheYard.com is ranking for. So how would you determine the article length that's needed. Uh, I do want to just show that I'm currently ranking number one in Google. So did I need to write 2,500 words or 5,000 words to tell somebody whether or not they can shoot a possum in their backyard? Again, I love these keywords. Uh, they always make me chuckle a little bit. Uh, but the answer is no, I don't need to take 3,000 or 4,000 words to tell somebody whether or not they can shoot a possum in their backyard. In fact, you can see that this article is quite short and I'm going to show you right here that this article is in fact, I don't know if you saw that, but it's 840 words, the, the word count here. So all of these studies that are showing you need 2,000, 3,000 words are not necessarily accurate for your specific keyword. It, it all varies depending on what is ranking currently in Google. And so I wanna let you know that Google is telling you how long your article needs to be. And so I knew that I, I could get away with a very short article and still rank at the top of Google for this particular keyword. So what I would do is there's a couple of tools that you can use. Uh, basically, the idea in a nutshell is to look at how long are all the other articles that are already ranking on the first page of Google. Are these really long articles or are they really short articles? And you can start to determine how long your article needs to be. So first, I'm going to show you a paid tool and you don't have to use this, but it makes it a lot easier. So I use something called Surfer SEO, and then I'm going to show you a free way to do this as well. All right, so if I come over here to Surfer SEO, I went ahead and popped in my keyword just in the SERP analyzer and hit, can I shoot a possum in my backyard? And so that's going to pull up tons of data. For this particular video, I'm just going to look at the content length, but do know that there's a lot more uh, data that I'm going to then I'm going to show uh, the way that you can look at this and my websites there I could click audit here but just to show that you can click on any of these to get the keyword length you hit the audit button and it's gonna tell you how long the article needs to be based on the first page results in Google alright so if you come down here and look at the words. Uh, it'll show you no action needed. This article, their article is 1,800 words long. Uh, the required length needed, it actually says is 1,200 to 2,500 words. When I initially analyzed this, all that I needed to do, I think, was about a thousand words, and my my author came in um, a little bit short. But that's okay. 
uh, I was still able to rank at the top of Google, but what I wanted to show, again, is that within SEO Surfer, there's a very fast way to look at your keyword and say, okay, it needs to be at least 1,200 words long, and then you can ask your author to make it that long. However, if you don't want to use a paid tool, you can also use free tools. And one of those free tools that I like to use is called wordcounter.net. Uh, it requires you to take a sampling of, I usually like to take three of the, um, either the top results in Google or the results that are matching closest to my type of site. So if they're an affiliate type site, I would do that if I have an affiliate site. If they're e-commerce results or Amazon, I probably wouldn't look at the length of the page, the word count of the page. So let me show you this example. So since I'm already ranking number one, I'm not going to look at that, but I would just come down here to the next result. That's actually a forum. Um, so I could look at that, but that's not really, um, it, basically because it's a forum, it tells me it can be really, really short. In fact, these are forums too. I think that's probably why I knew this is really easy to rank for because I had a couple of forum results at the top. Uh, so if I take one that's actually an article uh, from the LA Times here, I'm going to pop it into the word counter. Uh, what I do actually is go to more tools, sorry, and then web page word count. And it allows you to just paste in the URL. And then what it's going to do, it's going to go uh, scan that page. It's going to come back and say, okay, it's 1900 words long. And so if I go back, I'm going to just look at one or two more results uh, just to show you what I would do. Here's another one. And I would, again, so I've got about 1900 words and then 744 words. So you can quickly see that the average has become about 1200 words. So I would do that with about three of the results and take the average. Um, because I knew that uh, there were forums at the top and they were much shorter, I was happy with about a thousand. So that gives you an idea to tell you that for this particular keyword, you can rank on the first page with, in this example, they only have 744 words and they're ranking quite well. Let's take a look at another example. Another one uh, keyword that I'm ranking well for is keeping alpacas in your backyard. Again, I showed this keyword in a previous video, so I'm happy to do that. Uh, here you can see I've actually got the featured snippet. And how many words long is this particular article? Well, this one is, if I look at this, uh, 1,700 words long, if you can see that there, just almost 1,800. And so let's do the two ways again here. Let's look at Surfer SEO and then we'll look at Word Counter. Okay. All right. So in Surfer SEO, I've ran the analysis. And so if I pull this up again, I'm going to just take a look at the audit and that can be on any of the results. It doesn't have to be your own result. I'll just click audit and then it's going to tell me how many words uh, long it needs to be. So this says anywhere from 1200 to 2000. So you can see I'm squarely in the middle there. I had about 17, 1800 words. The cool thing about Surfer SEO is that it tells you a lot more than just the keywords. And I do follow this uh, a lot. There are other tools like Market Muse and some other on page analyzing tools. It can tell you, you know, what your headings should be, uh, how many images you should have in each post. So there's a lot that goes into ranking in Google. It's not just article length, but this is definitely uh, one of the important things. I won't say that all of my articles I run through Surfer SEO, but certainly some of them, especially when I'm trying to optimize them. Okay, so that's one way to find it. The other way, as I mentioned, is you can use Word Counter. And so again, I would just come in here. I would take a look at some of these articles, right? Um, maybe this good housekeeping article. How long are they making their articles? I'm going to punch this in and I'll take the average of three or four. So this is 1600 words. I could go through this step, but I promise you that the average is somewhere, be, you know, right around the 1600 to 1800 words. And so that's why I knew exactly how long my article should be. Google was telling me. 
it, they're, they're, it, you don't have to make it any more complicated than that. Um, I will just say that other times for keywords like niche websites, which I do rank number one for in Google, uh, nichepursuits.com right here, this is a monster post and sometimes you do just have to sit down, you have to slog through and write that 4,000, 5,000 or longer word uh, piece of content. In this particular case, this one is uh, 6, 000, almost 7,000 words and it took a long time but it's ranked at the number one of Google for a couple of years, a few years and it does very well and it brings in a lot of traffic. And so sometimes it makes a lot of sense to write that really long article. So there you have it. That's two ways that I personally use to determine the exact length of the articles that are needed. This can be for your blog posts, your affiliate websites, any other type of website where you're writing that long form content. You don't need to guess and there's no specific formula. You shouldn't say, okay, my informational articles are 1500 words. My buying guides are 5,000 words or whatever. Every keyword is going to be different. You need to analyze the SERPs in Google because Google's a machine and every result has a lot of different factors where content length is just one of them. Google is telling you how long your article should be. So whether you're using Surfer SEO or you use the web page word counter for free, you need to look at okay what is Google telling you is required to rank at the top of their search engine for this particular keyword and once you know what is required you can do that you can write that article that's long enough if backlinks are needed you can get those backlinks and do the other things that are required to rank at the top of Google so I hope that you enjoyed watching this video and learning how I determine the exact length that's needed for blog posts and other content to rank at the top of Google and if you enjoyed this video please subscribe so that you'll get notified when I put out another video and you can follow along with what I'm doing here you can also learn more at nichepursuits.com thanks again for watching